the turmoil between Tom Schwartz and Katie Maloney was highlighted in Vanderpump Rules Season 11 Episode 11, indicating that the ex-couples are finding it difficult to get along. The gang struggles with the intricacies of their buddy groups and the breakdown of Tom and Ariana's relationship. Skeena is under fire for her questionable behavior, which includes arranging a friend introduction for Schwartz and handling romantic conflict. After Ariana confides in them about her pain, Lala and Skeena comfort her while resolving disputes within the group. The turmoil between Tom Schwartz and Katie Maloney intensified in Vanderpump Rules Season 11 Episode 11, which also revealed that Skeena Shea and Lala Kent are not supporting Ariana Maddox. The cast of Vanderpump Rules Season 11 can't seem to let go of the turmoil, even if the excitement surrounding Scandoval seems like it happened a long time ago. While Tom and Ariana continue to struggle with the wreckage of their relationship, the other members of the cast have been managing by attempting to determine their place in their friend group. The gang has had trouble keeping the exes in balance. Even though Tom and Ariana have their share of trouble, Schwartz and Katie's problems have been getting worse. Even though Schwartz and Katie's divorce was a significant plot point in season 10 of Vanderpump Rules, they haven't fully dealt with the fallout from their split among their friends. The entirety of Vanderpump Rules Season 11 Episode 11 had the ex-couples in a state of bewilderment as Schwartz seemed to be dating Tori, Skeena's friend, alongside Katie, and also halfway into a relationship with Joe Wenberg. It became evident that there is much more going on between the ex-couples than first meets the eye. Skeena matched Schwartz with her former nanny Tori. She piqued Katie's interest too. Skeena has caused a great deal of controversy throughout season 11 of Vanderpump Rules. Skeena hasn't been as supportive as she thinks she has been, from her emotional breakdown over not being able to mourn her friendship with Tom to the fact that she has repeatedly begged Ariana to let go of the anguish and pain surrounding their breakup in order to benefit herself. Skeena came under fire in season 10 of Vanderpump Rules for pressuring Schwartz and Raquel Levis to kiss during her wedding. It seems that nothing has changed, despite the general consensus that Skeena had moved past this stage. Skeena revealed early in the show that she arranged for Schwartz to meet her longtime friend and former nanny, Tori Keith. It is not shocking that Skeena has chosen to try arranging dates for a couple of her pals. She added that after realizing that Katie was also intrigued, she decided it would be amusing to set Schwartz up with Tori. Skeena revealed that she was perplexed as it seemed the two ex-boyfriends were seeing the same woman. Skeena revealed that she would not be participating in the love drama for the benefit of the friend group. Ariana shared his emotions with Skeena and Lala. Ariana finally felt like they had her back. Following a day at the beach that left everyone overcome with emotion, Ariana at last confided in Skeena and Lala about how she's been feeling in relation to Tom. Throughout Vanderpump Rules Season 11, it has been hard to witness Ariana and Tom's predicament, particularly with regard to their shared house. Regarding whether or not they intend to sell their house, Tom and Ariana have both been obstinate, but because they usually conduct business through attorneys and aides, communication has been hampered. Ariana sobbed as Tom gave her some hard words, describing how difficult things had been at home. Ariana revealed that she has found it difficult to cope with what Tom has said about her in public and to their friend circle. She clarified that although she has been trying her hardest to be strong in the wake of their breakup, it has been difficult knowing that Tom has wounded her and that it has affected every aspect of her life. Ariana, who was temporarily consoled by Lala and Skeena, revealed that her heart had been broken when Tom cheated and that it has continued to be destroyed because he hasn't expressed regret or appeared to comprehend the reason behind her intense anger towards him. Ariana seemed to comprehend Skeena and Lala as she sobbed, even though they have been finding it difficult to understand her perspective or the reason behind her intense anguish following the separation given her success outside of the relationship. Ariana revealed that the heartache of witnessing what she believed to be the end of her life crumble in front of her eyes still hurts her deeply, and it appeared that Skeena and Lala were finally understanding that a lot of Ariana's actions were motivated by sadness. They did care, even if they haven't expressed regret for treating her harshly. Joe was confronted by Lala on her involvement in the scandal. She made it apparent that she was unaware of what was happening. Lala and Joe got together to talk about the resistance she's been receiving from the group, especially from Katie. 
Even though Lala and Joe aren't friends, she clarified that she didn't want to offend someone that is important to Schwartz. The two talked about Joe's alleged role in Scandoval, a topic of contention for much of the ensemble. Joe revealed that when she met Tom and Raquel on a trip she had taken with Schwartz, she had assumed Tom and Ariana had split up. She clarified that she had believed Tom was single as she felt awkward questioning him about his relationship status. Behind her back, Skeena and Lala complained about Ariana. Earlier, they were acting dishonestly. Skeena and Lala had a one-on-one -on -one conversation about Ariana's breakdown, and they both found it hard to accept that she was truly as depressed as she claimed to be. Both acknowledged that she was experiencing intense feelings following her breakup, but they also said it was hard to imagine she was still hurting so much after gaining so much weight and moving on so fast. Although Skeena and Lala seemed to be more interested in appeasing Ariana than it seemed at the time, it had seemed like they had been supportive previously. Lala and Katie disputed about her loyalty. They had trouble seeing one other in the eye. Lala's commitment to the friend group caused a significant dispute with Katie during a girls' dinner. Katie became alert as soon as Lala revealed that she had met with Joe to discuss some issues. Lala became combative when Katie questioned her and said she needed to clear the air. The women started arguing after she clarified that her meeting with Joe had nothing to do with her connection with Katie. Lala was hurting and felt that her integrity was being questioned, but Katie didn't understand how Lala could be at ease with someone who had caused her such much pain. Joe and Schwartz had a challenging talk. Her overabundance of emotions confused him. Following a dismal singles night that left Joe and Schwartz questioning their participation motivations, the two needed to discuss the status of their relationship. Joe didn't understand why Schwartz was treating her so fondly while he was expressing his desire to remain unmarried. Joe revealed that although she and Schwartz frequently exchanged loving words and were always touching, he insisted he wasn't seeking a committed relationship. Joe made the decision to depart Schwartz's after becoming upset with the Vanderpump Rules star and sobbing. The Bravo cast and VPR Lala Kent have not been getting along. When Tom Sandoval betrayed Ariana Maddox, it did more than just shatter her heart. The aftermath about who was right and wrong also caused division within the cast. People became quite emotional and turned against each other. Lisa Vanderpump was also criticized for appearing to stand up for Tom. In addition to fighting with Ariana, Lala Kent also lost her relationship with Katie Maloney. While Skeena Shea, Lala's pal, wasn't on Team Ariana, Katie was. However, things can change, and reunions are frequently where these disagreements are resolved. However, things might be different this time. The information was revealed during the Bravo Stars conversation with Lauren Herbert and Emily Orozco on the Housewives Nightcap podcast. Many tears following the unconventional reunion of Vanderpump Rules. Between seasons 10 and 11 of VPR, Ocean's mom lost a lot of fans. They turned against her and reminded her of her origins because they felt she appeared irate, arrogant, and patronizing. Bravo viewers became tired of her, even though the pressure from the show and her pregnancy may have ignited a fire in her pants. It's unclear what caused Lala to cry during the season 11 reunion filming, but it's sure to spark a lot of conversation when it premieres. Randall Emmett's former talked about how the actors seemed to be onto her throughout the podcast. And there appeared to be some collective forgetfulness. Says she. People at the reunion said things like, that never happened, while they, looked, me dead in the eyes. I was crying uncontrollably after because I was so frustrated, even just thinking about it now. For me, it was like a huge cleansing. However, Lala Kent said, I think it's going to be a really good reunion, so the Bravo reunion won't be dulled, IT will be unlike anything we have ever really experienced. Furthermore, season 11's conclusion will change slightly from previous seasons. As she discreetly moves through with her pregnancy and takes care of her mental health, no further spoilers have surfaced. What do you think about Lala Kent crying following the reunion? Do you think the deviations from the standard will be captivating?